now, fellas. How cool is this? My friend Rudy and I pulling up here in Fort oh, he Myers to the immediate site of a Seminole Golf and he train. Has a matching pair of those uh, Seminole Golf engines. He doesn't, he, he doesn't have one of those leasers or anything. I think we're gonna get. He, oh, yeah. The Seminole Golf's two B thirty nine dash eight E locomotives and a company owned buffer box car are attaching to a pair of liquefied petroleum gas tankers that are staged at a nearby siding. The Seminole Gulf Railway is one of several short lines in the state of Florida. Most of their trackage consists of ex-Atlantic Coastline Main Line that used to go all the way to Naples, but terminates near Estero, south of Fort Myers. From there, the Main Line travels approximately 40 miles to Punta Gorda and then curves northeast towards Arcadia, Florida. The railroad also has operations near Sarasota, Florida, consisting of pieces of former Atlantic Coastline and Seaboard Airline trackage. The primary freight operation is a turn job that spots several customers. And this switch is among the first orders of the day for the Seminole Gulf DeSoto turn, which runs from Fort Myers Yard all the way to Arcadia, where it will interchange with CSX. LPG customers Amerigas and Balgas are dotted along the northbound lanes of State Road 739, and they are arguably one of the largest carload customers the Seminole Gulf has in the Southwest Florida operation. Like Hollywood. This is a strikingly different yet similar scene to the setup in Hollywood, Florida on the Florida East Coast Mainline where the tracks parallel one-way portions of Dixie Highway. Here it's just one side of State Road 739. Switching at Amerigas is fairly routine. The loaded cut and the buffer car are attaching to the empties first to avoid string lining. The train is backing clear of the switch to cut off the empties. comes a spotting phase where the two LPG tankers are placed in the appropriate spots. Notice newer fall protection racks at the Amerigas industry.
train is backed on the ex-Atlantic coastline main, backing towards the yard. Note that as I pan to the right, you're going to kind of see where the former seaboard airline used to cross. The seaboard ran this way up until the 1950s. Soon after the backing move was completed, the Seminole Gulf DeSoto turn would gather the rest of the cars and proceed north. We are near Tucker Grade at the Best Aggregate Carriers facility where the train is going to be picking up the empty fly ash hopper seen to the right of the frame. speculating that the third engine was going to stay on so we really didn't want to waste time getting to the next location. Punta Gorda, Florida where the ex-Atlantic Coastline Depot still stands and is in pretty good shape. It's nice to see this nice Spanish mission style architecture at the Punta Gorda station. Sadly, Bradenton and Sarasota's depots which look very similar to this have been since torn down.
Other than LPG, which the SGLR is evidently a major carrier of, they haul a lot of scrap metal, sheet steel, rebar, and center beam loads for the Fort Myers area customers. But they are also slowing to pick up another empty car, this time carrying stone. But Wellstone appears to be one of those common gravel and sand distributors scattered across Florida, but is located in a very interesting spot. It's on a leg of a former Y that they had in Punta Gorda, and it appears that there was a spur that continued pretty much dockside towards where the Peace River meets the Gulf of Mexico. Anyway, that's enough for today, and I will definitely revisit the Seminole Gulf at a later time. I'd like to thank you guys for joining, and if you haven't, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. From Punta Gorda, Florida, on the Seminole Gulf, this is TE, out.